okay, so I wanted to share something with you um, because that's what I do on this channel, really. Um, but basically, over the last, um, I don't know, maybe month, maybe like probably less than that, actually, three weeks, two weeks, I don't know, whatever. For a, little, for a short while, I've just felt a little bit blocked, a little bit flat in terms of mindset and have felt that I work on myself all the time. Like I'm, you know, I'm always checking in with myself and working on what's going on in my brain and how I'm feeling okay. And if I'm, you know, not feeling good in certain areas and I work on it, uh, there's no like, I don't do light very easily. I like deep conversations. When you meet me, I want to talk to you about like what your life mission is. I want to talk to you about deep stuff. I don't want to talk to you about like, X Factor or whatever. I just don't really talk about that that much. It's kind of fluffy to me and I just, I maybe don't have headspace for it as I've got older and, and bigger things have happened. It makes me less interested. I just, do we don't, me and my husband as well, we just don't do like that easy. I'm not saying we don't laugh, that doesn't mean that. It just means I don't do just shallow conversation very easily. So anyway, sort of digressing slightly. So I was, yeah, I've been, you know, I was thinking and always sort of pondering over life stuff and I felt like a bit of a block and I've been feeling like oh, you know am I doing the right thing and you start questioning then weird doubt creeps in and I'm not that person so I start thinking oh, come on what's going on here where are you at and I just can't put my finger on it there didn't seem to be any real reason and I sort of thought well maybe it's just a oh my tweet I'm tweet, being tweeted here um maybe it was you know maybe just a reflection of the last few months and ross's surgery and just a bit of a downtime and you know naturally people back off blah, 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 whatever it was and so i was just kind of putting it down to that and i don't really i don't think there really is like a major reason but last night i was watching uh, the tony robbins uh, i'm not your guru um, netflix thing everybody's been talking about it and whatever so i thought i'd go check it check it out i like tony robbins I absolutely loved it and connected with it on such a deep level and I'm actually as much as I read like tons and I'm obviously into personal development I'm not like obsessed with any of the sort of mental health uh, personal development gurus you know I, I like what they do but I don't know everything that they say and listening to the stuff last night with Tony Robbins I was just like yeah I yes that like that that is what i say that is what i've said to people that's i've been saying that for ages and maybe like it's some you know i i watched it last night and what it did for me was it reminded me of what what i'm supposed to be doing and it reminded me that i'm not i'm not mental for for feeling like that and that the reason that I come back to helping people and allowing people, because I, I, my mission to me, and even if I deny this, it comes back to every time I attract people into my world to help and people contact me and everything that I do, it's always about storytelling and, and helping people to unlock something. It's always been that. I, From very, very young, I had a conversation with a friend of mine um, the other day and I said you know maybe I haven't always you know been like that and she said but yes you were like I'm, she vividly remembered a conversation when we were 13 14 and, and talking about you know this not being a rehearsal and and me saying this is not rehearsal this is life it's happening now we need to grab it and I didn't remember doing that but obviously I did and I know that it's all it, it's something that's in me and so watching Tony Robbins last night on the uh, documentary he said like I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with helping people to develop themselves, be their authentic self, be their real them, live the life that they want. I'm obsessed with it. And I was, what when I watched it, I just, that's, that's it for me. I am obsessed with helping people to unlock who they are and to live freely. And it's not necessarily about, you know, riches beyond your wildest dream or anything like that. It's about feeling free of all the bullshit layers that we put on as people you know as children we're all free and lovely and, and innocent and then as adults we put all this societal pressure and pressure from friends and family and then we just feel squashed and like we want to scream and so many people feel like that and thankfully i've really 
created a world where I don't feel like that most of the time. You know, I really don't. I don't feel the same kinds of pressure that I, I, I see most people feel. And I see it as a responsibility that for whatever reason, speaking and in working with people, it, uh, it allows, not everybody by any stretch, but it certainly, the, it allows some people, I, I'm able to allow some people to see that side of themselves and to discover that for themselves. And that to me is such a gift, like, and I think it's time to, that I stop sort of like fighting against that. Not that, oh, maybe I'm not fighting against it. This has turned into a full on monologue, isn't it? Um, but I wanted to share with you because I really think it's important that you understand that it doesn't matter what level you're at and where you're at in your life, that you always have these little moments of epiphany, of like clarity. And that is the word, clarity. I felt last night and yesterday and today, I felt such clarity that I wanna go back to basics, cut the shit, just this for me, right? Authenticity, be real. When I meet somebody that is just truly themselves, warts and all, you know, a totally open and honest, I just find it so refreshing, so amazing to go, yeah, do you know what, that's you, and that's that's totally, like, it's just, you can see it, you can breathe, I feel like that person's able to breathe. When I meet people that are hiding themselves, or depressed, or, maybe not even depressed, not even that far, just people who are hiding behind a persona that they've Built that isn't really them that's pacifying those around them or you know just getting them through I feel I feel their suffocation like I can just feel like that and it makes me feel sad and so that's what my pull is my pull is to I can't help it like I, I can't help it when I when I see that I have to help it's just it's hard and that means I have to put boundaries up as well because otherwise I spend my whole day trying to flip and help the world and then I get in trouble from my family who are like yeah you can't help everyone flower um but yeah so the video is that this video is just me saying I have felt such clarity and this zest this reinvigoration of going yeah do you know what that is what I'm supposed to be fucking doing. That is why I do this. And no matter whatever else bullshit is going on, I'm supposed to be doing what I'm doing. And I love it. I love being able to help people. I love being able to coach people and, and work with people. And I enjoy speaking and I enjoy using words to help people unlock certain things within their own worlds. And, and that's what it's about to me. And I'm working on a project at the moment, uh, which I've mentioned in other videos, but it's like super close to being done. Um, and it's a project on mindset and law of attraction. And it's an academy. And the point of the academy, and this is why it was important for me to have this sort of moment, is that for me, the point of this six week academy is that it reaches not just flowery personal develop people personal development people like me and, and others out there but people who don't think about this stuff but really fucking need it people who just normal people whatever normal means but you know people regular people who feel suffocated they are those people and they, they want to live up they want to attract the best things into their world and they want to live the life that and they want to be true to themselves and they they don't really know how to and they didn't get taught it who who gets taught it and for me this academy is to go yes just cut through the shit and let's build you a life that you want so having this clarity over the last few days has been brilliant because I'm still putting things together and it just means that it's just stepped up a notch. For me, when you guys enrol in the academy, you're gonna fucking love it because it is everything that me and the girl I'm working with, Caroline, she's a psychologist and she's a life coach. And we, this is like a long time coming. We both have, you know, we both have stuff that have gone on in our worlds that have meant that we're supposed to help people. And this has just done itself because it's supposed to be there. It's supposed to, we're supposed to help people. So, ah, this is like a bit of a weird rambly video and it's like 10 minutes long, sorry. Some of you have already switched off, so it's fine. The people that have hung about, fair play to you. Um, but other than that, yeah, all is good in our world. And Brooke's video that's on here, got a whole lot of um, hits. I'm gonna do a video about that in a second. And 
Yeah. So watch out for the Academy stuff coming soon, guys, because it's really, really, like, this much from being, like, ready to go. And I'm well excited. You're going to love it. Like, those of you who need it, you'll get it. Like, you'll, like, this is, this is going to be shit hot. So, it is shit hot. It's just not quite finished. Okay, see you later, guys.